All right. Well, that is a pretty cool system. Are we all done? No, we're not done yet. We're going to put a fish finder on this kayak. You're going to put a fish finder yes. on a kayak? Absolutely. Uh, I've seen those in they're boats, at. but you're going to put it in a kayak. Absolutely. We, uh, some instances, it's really nice to know what kind of structure you've got underneath your kayak and whether or not the water is two well, foot versus six feet. That's a very good point. Because you <laughs> want to get out when you're not supposed to. So we're going to put this little, this is a nice little Lowrance X50 DS. We're going to, we're going to mount it right here on the boat so we can see it. Right where you can reach it, huh? Exactly. And how are we going to mount that? More holes? Yeah, we're going to drill a few more <laughs> holes, but these are these are easy holes. There's not going to. There's only one hole. Everything else will just screw some screws in. But we'll okay. we'll mount the fish finder there, and then a lot of people. The biggest question I get is where do you put the transducer in these things? You can't. I mean, a lot of boats. You know, you can drill them to put drill them through the bottom or put them on the bottom, but we don't want anything like that. So what we do is we actually let the transducer shoot through the bottom of the boat because the material is similar to, to the plastic that the transducer is made out of. Okay. So the signal will actually go right through the bottom of the kayak and if, say if this was the bottom of the kayak we're going to actually mount a foam pad, what we call a donut. <laughs> donut. <laughs> we're going to glue it to the bottom of the boat with, with regular spray adhesive. Okay. It only takes a few minutes for that to set up. Then we're going to put epoxy in here and we're going to lay this thing right down in the epoxy. And it takes about an hour for that epoxy to set up. But after an hour, we're going to have a really nice mount down there. It's solid. It's bomb proof. It's not going to go anywhere. And it actually it's also it gets a fairly t good temperature reading as well as lets the signal go through and gives you a good picture on your fish finder. But there's nothing sticking down below the bottom of the boat for it to hang up on when you're paddling. Okay. Pretty easy application, though. So but just a little bit of preparation, but it's, it'll be, be simple. It only takes a few minutes to do it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to make the plastic rough so the glue will stick to it. So we're going to take this little sanding block right there. I'm actually going to let you do this too. Okay. And if you look through there, there's two little, these are your scupper pole, holes right there, that, those columns. I want you to sand a little area right between those columns there, probably about the size of this, this foam block here. So just, okay. just don't worry about messing anything up. Just rough it up a little bit. 